from Fox 5 News. This is Good Day New York. All right. Welcome to Monday. Are you enjoying this warm weather? Well, it continues today after a picture-perfect weekend. Audrey Puente has the forecast for the week ahead. The battle of the presidency continues. President-elect Joe Biden is wasting no time and expected to outline his COVID response plan today. President Trump still refuses to concede and is promising to fight. His personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, will be here with us in just a few minutes to talk about the new lawsuits challenging the election results. Well, after declaring victory over the weekend and President-elect Joe Biden is getting down to work today, he meets with his newly created coronavirus task force. But President Trump is still showing no intention of conceding to Biden. Fox Size Robert Moses has more now from Columbus Circle. Robert? Lori, this was the scene of raucous celebrations this weekend. As of right now, President Trump has nothing on his public schedule for today, which means that for at least another day, a presidential concession will have to wait. Do not concede, Mr. President. Fight hard. That's exactly what President Trump's legal team intends to do. Beginning today, the president's lawyers plan to file lawsuits in battleground states. Senator Lindsey Graham and the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, laid out some of their allegations. Dead people voting in Pennsylvania. I know we have evidence of computers flipping Republican votes to Democratic votes. In uh, Pittsburgh, we have observers who were for 24 hours kept out of the room or kept away from the room where they were counting the mail-in ballots. The president spent the weekend golfing. He continues to allege on Twitter that Democrats stole the election, but even many of his fellow Republicans concede lawsuits probably won't alter much. Seems unlikely that any changes could be big enough uh, to, uh, to make a difference, but this is a close election, and we need to acknowledge that. President-elect Joe Biden attended mass yesterday and visited the grave of his late son, Beau. Even as the president refuses to concede, the president-elect's deputy campaign manager says the transition begins. The work starts right away. Today, that work involves unveiling the president-elect's coronavirus task force. Dr. Vivek Murthy, who served as Surgeon General under President Obama and former FDA Commissioner David Kessler, will lead it. In a letter, the nonpartisan Center for Presidential Transition urged change to begin. While there will be legal disputes requiring adjudication, the outcome is sufficiently clear that the transition process must now begin. Former White House officials from both parties signed the letter. Republican Senator Mitt Romney echoed its sentiments. And, uh, at some point, truth, freedom, and democracy have to ascend, uh, and you step aside. Romney was one of a handful of Republicans to issue congratulations to Biden. Former President George W. Bush was another. In a statement, he said that he spoke with Biden and he called this election, quote, fundamentally fair. Rosanna. All right, Robert, thank you. And don't you move because just in a few minutes, we're going to speak with the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, right here. We're going to talk to him about, uh, well, the Trump campaign legal strategy. Thank you, and don't forget that a little later in this hour, we're going to speak live with New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. He's going to join us at 8.30. But first, aides to President Trump say he is not conceding anytime soon. Up next, President Trump's personal attorney, former mayor Rudy Giuliani, on the legal battles that lie ahead, right here on Good Day. Welcome back. This morning, as far as we know, President Trump is not conceding defeat. His campaign says it will contest Joe Biden as the projected winner, and his legal team is moving ahead with efforts to fight the results, filing several lawsuits beginning today in Pennsylvania. All right, joining us now, President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, who claims that there is strong evidence of election fraud in several states. Mr. Giuliani, thanks for being with us. So, How are you? Uh, we're doing great. So over the weekend, everyone or so many people were saying, where is the, the evidence? So let's talk about the state you're filing today and where's the evidence? Well, sure. First, if people would cover me, uh, they would have the evidence. We did a press conference on Saturday that no one covered, uh, local stations did, in which we revealed uh, four witnesses in place of 50. There are 50 others, all of whom were inspectors that were inspecting the... Um, the, co the coverage in 
Philadelphia. They were supposed to be allowed to see the ballots. They saw no ballots. They were kept over 20 feet away. When they went to court and the judge required they be put closer, the sheriff refused to put them closer and even threatened to arrest them. This will be documented in a lawsuit that will be filed today. That lawsuit now has over 70 witnesses, as well as videotape, that will prove that 350,000 ballots in uh, Philadelphia have to be discarded. They can't be counted because they are under the law of Pennsylvania, which is set by the state legislature. They're uh, illegal ballots. Uh, they were observed by no one. The envelope that um, the, the envelope that would tell you that they're valid ballots has been cast aside. The only thing left is a ballot, and we have to trust that the Democratic machine of Philadelphia, which has cheated just about in every election in 60 years, was doing it honestly. So, um, now, of course, that's be, that's beyond credulity, but mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. The minute you the minute you discard the envelope, you don't have a person inspected. It, it's an illegal ballot. And they even ultimately defied a court order to do that. In Pittsburgh, very similar, about 150,000 ballots. In their case, during the first half, they, they, they didn't allow us access. But then when the court issued an order, they allowed us access. So instead of 300,000 ballots, there's 150,000 there. That would amount to 450,000. So maybe the press could stop saying there's no evidence. So there's a different, now you, you may not believe the evidence. Right. But you don't get to decide that. The judge does. So there is evidence of voter fraud. Who pays fraud for on the, the part of the Democrat Party right now? Mr. Fraud Giuliani. on the part of the Democrat Party of Pennsylvania. There also are about 30 cases of backdated ballots. There are witnesses. That means evidence. There are ballots that came in on November 4th, and people were instructed, and there are witnesses for this, people were instructed to backdate it to the 3rd. We're up to, I'm sorry, we're up to 400 of those. And then there are about 50 so far dead people who voted. So who's know paying you know it, for it, Mr. Giuliani? Who's paying for the lawsuits? The Democrat, the Republican National Committee. Gotcha. No taxpayer money. This lawsuit being paid for by the Republican National uh, Committee. But I, I really you should stop saying there's no evidence. Mayor, in fact, but, there's evidence but pouring not, in. But uh, Mayor, it's beyond not just that, the there's media. evidence pouring in all over the country right. that there was fraud. So we have to gather it. The next state we'll be moving in probably tomorrow is in the state of Michigan, where there's uh, multiple evidence of fraud. But Mayor, can I, just, can I just interrupt one quick second? It's not just sure. the media saying this. It's Chris Christie, an advisor to President Trump, who says basically we're not going to follow the president blindly. We need evidence. He's well, saying evidence that there's now. no evidence, uh, well, and he's uh, a friend of yours. I, I, didn't, I didn't call them idiots. I'm telling you they're uninformed. There is evidence that it happened. There are thousands and thousands of witnesses. I have 70 of them in this one case. There are about 200 in Michigan. There are about 200 in Nevada. There are well over 1,000 witnesses that fraud was committed. There are actual dead people that we have found on the rolls. There are people, at least 100 people in different states who have been told to backdate ballots. They are willing to go under oath. Many of them have given us affidavits. There is a... Uh, 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 a boatload of evidence. So if people want to say there's no evidence, they can say it, but it's uninformed, and now they should be on notice that it's untrue. So now, how long will this process take, Mayor? As long as it takes for a court to have a hearing. Are you These people are ready to... We, we now have 50 people ready to testify in a court in Philadelphia that they were deliberately prevented from carrying out their duties so that, uh, in essence, the count in Philadelphia was unlawful. Not the first time this has happened in Philadelphia. It happens almost every year. Joe Frazier was voting for three years after he was dead. Will Smith's grandfather voted for two years after he was dead. But we don't know if the they voted in this election, right? <laughs> uh, oh, but I, I do know that over 40 people died and voted. So is and there I just any began truth? counting. Is look, there... look, you can fight it all you want. The reality is dead people voted. Over three, uh, 300,000 ballots were counted in secret just by the Democrats. <laughs> it happened to be when they caught up from the ridiculous 700,000 they were behind. Uh, is there any truth overnight, that Melania... Overnight, overnight they Mayor, found 300,000 ballots that Republicans never got a chance to observe. Well, we know you're going to argue this in, in a court, but is there oh, any truth... Yes, we to, argue, Is there but, any truth I, that Jared 
and Melania suggested to the president that he needs to start thinking about. I have no, I have no knowledge uh, to that effect. The president didn't tell me anything like that. I would seriously doubt it. And I think that the reason I'm on here is to try and get coverage of what has been basically censored, that all weekend we've been presenting evidence of fraud that isn't covered. We hold press conferences and it's not covered, which is similar to the censorship that was done of the Hunter Biden uh, uh, tape, uh, tapes that were very serious crimes. So, this, I mean, this is getting to be kind of cr uh, crazy for America. Ms. Mr. Mayor, I'm a, a just court, wondering... A court may reject this evidence, a court may accept this evidence. And you can't say there's no evidence. Mr. Mayor, um, I know that you're very close with the president. Have you had a chance to talk with him this morning? And what is his state of mind? His attitude, his attitude is exactly uh, what it always is. The president, the president uh, has seen a, a mountain of evidence that there was fraud committed in over 10 different states now. Uh, three or four of them, it's, um, it's substantial. It takes a little while to gather it, but we're about to file suit in Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania, for the entire state, in order to allege that there are many, many more unlawful ballots than the difference between him and, uh, and Joe Biden, and that that 700,000 lead that he had on election night disappeared, uh, largely because they counted ballots that Republicans never got a chance to observe. So we're highly suspicious of it. But in any event, they're unlawful. Well, we appreciate you coming on Good Day New York and, and giving us an update on this. Keep us in Thank the you. loop and let us know how it goes. I will. And please, see if we can get fair reportage of the evidence we're putting out. Well, we're putting we, it out, I mean, like three times a day. Well, okay. We look forward to seeing the evidence. Please. Thank well, you so much. we have been putting it out all weekend, and your viewers didn't get to see it because nobody covered it. Well, we're covering it now. Mayor Giuliani. Thank you. And I, I appreciate that very much. Uh, you're the first to do it. And thank you, Rosanna. Thank we appreciate you. it. All right. Thank you so much.